I am uh, Samiran Panda, a medical researcher associated with the Indian Council of Medical Research for a number of years. The present day challenge in today's world is how do we ramp up the vaccination against COVID-19 in India and India being a big country and it has many geographical locations which are hard to reach. What these vaccines do, they help one not to progress to a severe form of the disease or to require oxygen or to get admitted in the hospitals following infection. So it is all the more important how quickly we achieve considerable coverage in, in the eligible population groups, which is adult population as of now in India. Reaching out to the hard to reach population is very, very important. And drone appeared to us as a very innovative approach towards that. Because if we fail to you know, contain uh, this upsurge of symptomatic infections of SARS-CoV-2, which leads to severe from the COVID-19 disease, then it uh, actually creates you know, huge burden on the healthcare system. That's why it's also very important for us to recognize that following vaccination, one should use masks. Usage of drone to do the vaccine delivery, which would help achieve the adequate coverage of the vaccination drive, is the key approach that we thought would be a fantastic public health approach. Of course, there was this necessity of working with the community and health is a state subject in India. So obtaining necessary permission from not only at the central government level, but also the state health authorities, safety and security, home affairs, and the community-based organizations who work for the cause of public health. All these were necessary. So it was a huge networking, and uh, D-based being the chosen agency, was able to work with us, and we are really hoping to achieve the level of vaccination coverage, which is the key in today's world, and particularly in India. And ICMR has always been at the forefront of um, innovative public health interventions. Any area we have assessed through our preliminary assessment, it has become very evident that on land or by road transportation from point A to point B in many northeastern states, which could take you know one and a half hours to two to three hours, that can be reached through the drone-based vaccine delivery mechanism within 30 to 40 minutes. And each of the drones would be able to carry four to five kg of consignment carrying the vaccines. And that will certainly reach out to those hard to reach areas and thousands and thousands of people will be covered. We have examined whether during this transportation, the vaccines remain okay in terms of their characteristics. The temperature is maintained because maintenance of temperature is very, very important. So we use a temperature logger within the box, the thermocol box with the cool pack while transporting the vaccines. So thousands and thousands of people will be benefiting from this innovative approach.